The MEPI score on this patient is over a six, and uh, MEPI score are used very often during the publications. When you publish something on mental health file, you have to use the MEPI score. But uh, not all the doctors calculate MEPI score before they get, get therapy. And um, so, uh, for example, this patient, uh, first of all, he needs therapy because he has symptoms, he has a big tumor, you cannot wait anymore. So, so maybe you do not need a MIPI score to tell you that this patient needs immediate therapy, you cannot watch them wait. So, so then, this patient has a big tumor and uh, you know, has uh, tumors above below the diaphragm, and this patient need, uh, is young, therefore he needs uh, intensive therapy. So, Although maybe score could tell you that he needs intensive therapy, but this is a young patient who is less than 65 years old who needs immediate therapy. And the regular therapies were RTOP, arbenamustine, are inadequate for this patient. So this patient have to serve the intensive, get the intensive therapy. I agree with that, but uh, I'm conducting clinical trial to beat this in standard therapy. If you've, you're very familiar with uh, the therapy, a natural history of uh, mental cell lymphoma, you don't need a MIPI score. If you never are treated with, you, you don't treat, usually on average, uh, the community doctors they, in their entire oncological career, they treat one to two patients in their career. So when you, if you're a community oncologist and you have not seen more than five patients with mental cell lymphoma, you really need to know the prognosis. Please calculate the MIPI. The MIP calculation is, um, is, uh, is, is rather complicated if you do it manually, but there's an online formula, and uh, you can Google the online formula and put in the parameters that the value will come out for you.